Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So, what we're going to try and look for are tori and spheres, and we have the sample in a different orientation. So, over here I have my reference in Photoshop, and we have some potential targets to look for here. And uh, this is actually rotated. Now, we don't know whether these things are stuck onto the surface or whether they have moved. Uh, in the intervening time being handled in different ways but we're going to see if we can find them anyway and, uh, as it's rotated you can see if I go up here uh, we've got this in a different orientation so whether that will affect how we can image it don't know but we'll find out so let's take an image off that so we know where we are and then we are going to look for Something that was down there, but I don't see it anymore. So, or do I? No. Let's see. Mm. In the center there. Okay, so the first one we're going to look for is in here. That is definitely not in focus. There we go, the structure here. There it is. So, we can go in a bit more than that, it's 11,000 times. And we can change the way we are looking at it. <laughs> Definitely had a little tear on the BSD. So we can see that these are tilted over in this aspect, this way, and the opposite way, they're tilted over in a different aspect. Love the detritus on that. Uh, far clearer than we can see there, so I think probably uh, this is one micron. So this is each of these segments are five or five. Hundred nanometers, something like that. Into the segments. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Oh dear. <laughs> incredible, incredible. Who'd have thought that we would find these? Okay. Um, so. I think probably want to capture that and then I'm going to try and capture it at high level of sampling. And that's averaging three minutes. Do you want that? Maybe. Come out a bit. I don't know. I'll go in and, and take a super high quality one like this. Get that better.
This one looks like it's kind of broken up and starting to break up, but didn't completely. Anyway, I think I'll take a shot of that. And then what did I do? <laughs> This one's still there. Let's see if it is. Not too far away. I want to find out what this is made of. If this is made of iron and oxygen, we're in a very, very happy place. This one's a little bit more spongy. It looks a bit like. Anyway, there's more out in the open, so we might be able to get a clearer image of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to change this to SUV. See what kind of better image we get of it. Wow, slow averaging doing that. I'm going to put this on live. <laughs> SUV. So this gives us the a more better impression of the geometry. Mm. Yes and no. Let's just put it on just as that detector. Maybe we'll get a better image of my jump. So we'll take an image with just the S and B. So the way I think about this, this is one large ball lightning. Uh, that blew up. And there are fragments which are actual balls. It came off the various areas. There would be one here, but it's gone. There's one up here, and so forth, one here. But sub units of those are the structures that we are looking at here, these ones, which again are kind of off to the side. This one up here is quite nice, it's kind of the end of the trail. We'll just have to see what we can see in that one, a little more definition. Of course this one doesn't look like it's attached so much, so we might have lost it. Let's see.
almost looks like there's pairs here. Not so much around this side, but definitely this is angled that way and this is angled that way. Okay, so I can't help myself. We're going to have to go and look at what this looks like in terms of elements. And are these fragments of iron rich material? This looks like it might be copper. Damn it, it's moved. <laughs> Ah, this is on and we are on to a winner. This is going to be on and oxygen. This is going to be on and oxygen. We can say, we really can say, soon. Let's say what it's on point. Ah, come on. like a meteor that's come in. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I think that's a good fun fast match.
Okay. I will look at this. What is that? <clears throat> okay, it is calcium. Well, isn't that a thing? This is a torus of calcium. Oh, how amazing. How amazing. Calcium and oxygen. Calcium, oxygen and carbon and basically nothing else. Well, it's not iron, but it's on the way to iron. <laughs> Let's do another sample on it. And we're just seeing reflected. Wow! <laughs> uh, look at that by weight. Atomic concentration. Look at that. It's basically all calcium, oxygen, and carbon, all alpha conjugates. There's very little on the way in the way of copper and zinc by weight. It is 70. 86, 94% calcium, oh sorry, <laughs> zinc to come up there. Well, a lot of it might be reflected zinc off here. I'll take another chunk. In fact, we'll do a map on this in a minute. What's this blob here? Well, that is iron. <laughs> Atomic concentration, uh, iron and carbon, this little sphere with this trail coming off to one side. How about that? It's a comet of iron. Basically pure iron and carbon. Who would have thought? There's nothing else there. That's pure as it comes. That's it. Fine. And I guess over here we have some zinc and copper, maybe, and oxygen. Zinc and copper, and look at that, sodium, 16.7. These literally are the things that we need to terraform life. Planets for new life. Give it what you got, get back something useful. I've got that over here. The silicon, there's the aluminium. <laughs> wow, look at this phosphorus and sulfur. Of course, calcium, silicon, phosphorus. Ha, look at it. Look at that. It's peak mania. <laughs> look at it. Aluminium, sulfur, phosphorus, calcium, silicon, carbon, oxygen, mostly carbon, oxygen. Of course, carbon, oxygen, fuse those together, you get silicon, calcium's alpha conjugate, aluminium is fusion of carbon and nitrogen, which you don't see there, but uh, you can fuse. Oh, that's just wonderful. Okay, so I think we'll do a map of this area it is quite interesting
I think we're going to go and look at this one next because it's all on its own now from the outskirts of this overall exploded ball boy here. So this here is essentially almost pure then. see it here I guess, there we go, that is our iron blob, there's the sulphur up in this section here, the calcium is our ring there, look at that, look at it, it's so precise, <laughs> I'm going to do another region area over that, this is just wonderful, what an honour, what an honour to be able to do this. Calcium and oxygen. And carbon is the sort of black area everywhere else. Interestingly, it seems to be. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Quite a bit of calcium up in this bit. Yeah, these look like they might be bits that broke off this substructure. Okay. So maybe these tori are calcium. Kind of different level of intensity. And maybe different levels of the these structures have different elements that they're synthesizing. No doubt that's iron. <laughs> and this blob up here, that's got the sulfur in it. A lot of sulfur. Weight concentration, 3% sodium, 4.3%. This is in this area here. Iron, that's probably mostly this. Calcium, 5%. Oxygen, 15%. By weight, 47% carbon. Atomic carbon, so 70% carbon. So a lot of what this comes out of the atoms are carbon, then oxygen, zinc, and copper in the original starting material, sodium. Of course, in an exploding ball of lightning, you're going to be smelling the sulfur dioxide or the sulfur thing on it. Okay, so that's done. So I think we're going to do another map, um, but we're going to take it just off the central section there. Just to Okay. I'll do another on the What a finding, what a finding.
with your Taurus. <laughs> it couldn't be more perfect. It is calcium. Calcium and oxygen. Calcium and oxygen. Seats around the outside. Cup is around the outside. Carbons around the outside. It's just basically calcium and oxygen. <laughs> Incredible. Look at it. Calcium, oxygen, calcium, oxygen. But mostly calcium. There you go. At most the oxygen in there is uh, is on the uh, blocks there, so yeah. But it is calcium oxygen. So if you fuse calcium and oxygen, what do you get? We've got 40 plus 16. Could that be 56? Could it be iron? Let's go to the LFP Parkamore reaction tables. What's that's doing its sampling? If we take fusion reaction and we take carbon, carbon and oxygen, oxygen and let's see, what do we get? Oxygen and Calcium goes to nickel, cobalt. Okay, so we only get nickel and cobalt. So it's not quite doing it for us. Unless it's an exchange reaction. Let's put carbon in there, because we know we've got carbon, carbon as well. What do we get? We put carbon in the calcium. Execute query. Oh well, will you look at that? Carbon and calcium goes to iron 56. In fact, if we get rid of the neutrinos, just look at the reactions without neutrinos. Carbon and calcium goes to iron 56. So the carbon 12 plus calcium 42 goes to iron 54. Carbon 12 plus calcium 46 goes to iron 48. Carbon 12 plus calcium 44 goes to iron 56. Carbon 13 plus calcium. So basically, you take all the, we get 54, 58, and 56. Um, you only get carbon, you only get iron 57 if you've got carbon 13. Okay, and that's not radioactive, so um, that could be synthesised as well. So you get all the uh, isotopes of iron, including iron 57, but iron uh, carbon. Uh, you need a, quite a few neutrons in the calcium, but it doesn't matter. Um, we know we've got calcium. And uh, fusing carbon, of which there is an abundance of. Um, so I'm just going to do one point sample again on here. Uh, on this area, which seems to be... I mean, just look at that. It's just... It's carbon oxygen. Carbon, ca carbon not so much, but it is there. Um, so we're going to go up there. Uh, if you have a leftover alpha particle, you're going to end up with oxygen, aren't you? So we're going to put a sample point here. There we go. We go in. And there we go. It is actually 38% carbon and 11% biotite calcium. So it's oxygen, calcium and carbon by weight. 
So you fuse carbon, calcium, and you get iron. So if this is a fragment of the original ball of lightning, it's at a different level of coherence uh, and intensity. And so you don't get iron and oxygen, you get and carbon, you get calcium, oxygen, and carbon. Well, isn't that a thing? Isn't that a thing? Wow, I'm so excited to find out whether the pattern follows for our structure over here, which is very clear and it doesn't look like it. So I don't know how many segments this has got round it. Um, we'll look at that in a second. In fact, we can probably go back here and look at it. Can I look at it? No, I can't. Okay, so it's done that spectrum there. So, yeah, that is calcium, carbon, and oxygen, residual zinc. That's basically what it is. So, this is this level of coherence. So, if we go back to our microscope and we zoom in here, we work out our segments. Oh dear, let's take a quarter of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It seems broken up there. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe? Take one side here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, broken up. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 36, I don't know. Um, 36. I mean, if it was 40, that would be wonderful. Because <laughs> that's like... Counting, isn't it? But anyway, um, that's what that is. Okay, so we're going to take this down for Neaton so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to come out and going to see if we can find, just have a look, we'll take a quick shot of this because it's, it's quite beautiful actually. Uh, And I'll go and try and find this torus. Hopefully it hasn't been knocked off the sample. Oh, it's hot. It's the one we're going to be looking for. This squishy blob torus. I don't know how many seconds is this? Like? One, two, three, four, five. I think maybe 12, actually. 12 seconds around it. Wow, it's amazing that this is crystal clear. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the vortical cuts in our. The, the images that I took of the lion corpse outside and that was observed by Matsumoto and also by um, uh, who else? Alexander Parkinov and it's like the ball's coming in but it has this vortical cut that it was making through the material and I believe that we're seeing something similar here So let's hope we can find this object. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it gone? Is it gone? I think it's gone. Now it's down here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What has it gone? Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. 
unless I can't see it because it's not should be there. Oh, hold on. Is that it? No, that's the other one. It should be... Dang it, it's gone. Oh no! It was here! <laughs> oh, that beautiful Taurus was here. Oh no, no. So it really wasn't. So what we're talking about is this one here, which was very, very, very clear. So it was at the end of this trail here, but it has come off of the sample. So, oh no, that's sad. Uh, there's another one here that's embedded. If it's embedded in the carbon, it's a little easier to survive. So um, there's one that looks like it's here. I don't know whether it is, but we'll, we'll have a look. Oh no, the other one's gone. That's just annoying. Yeah, this is a this is a poor cousin. It's not even good enough to image, I don't think. Oh no, we lost the beautiful one here. Is it there? Oh dear, oh dear. No, oh, well, that's the best we're going to get. One, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, maybe. Two, three, four, five, six. 15, 15, something like that. Damn it. This one is too buried. Too buried to consider. Damn it. Oh no. I wonder if it's not too far away. Maybe just move a little bit further away. Let's see if we can find it just by looking around a bit. Might be stuck with its calm to try to see that what it is. We've got some breakup segments of one here. Now oh, that was the most beautiful one in terms of one that's kind of like separated and it's just gone. It's gone. <sighs> Can't have everything. Let's see if it's so it was there. Is it new? Not very far, and we can find it. Some segments down there. Uh -huh. Now what's there? Hmm. It was there. Told me you didn't go far. Oh, darn it. Okay. Don't see the bit of tape up here. I'm just going to have to look at bits that are stuck. Yeah. segment I guess these are calcium. Let's see. Let's go and see if they are calcium. Mm -hmm.
a lot of the carbon on top of that. Dang it! Uh, I wish I'd seen these in the previous session. I could have imaged that better. Such a shame, such a shame. Oh, look, it's calcium, carbon, and oxygen. <laughs> we have a winner! <laughs> we have a winner! Oh dear. At least we know what we're looking for in this tori. So the tori, so far, this pod, this is probably sulfur, but it's just, it's just not sulfur, sodium. We'll have a quick look at that as well, since we're in, in this imaging mode. But there we go, calcium. Calcium, carbon, and oxygen. That's essentially what these segments of this blown up one are. There we go, done. Uh, right back to the microscope. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. Oh, why, why is that one evaded us? Why, why did it evade us? Such a shame. Let's go and have a look at that. Just to find out. Uh, the distances here are 7.3 microns and the length is 9.48 microns. <clears throat> Just for the hell of it, what is this? And there we go, sodium chloride. This is a salt crystal. <laughs> NaCl2, is it? NaCl2. Looks like a salt crystal, is a salt crystal. Not so great. Very nice. Yeah, this is a blown up section. And I suspect you'll find more calcium. Maybe, if it is what it, I think it is. These are the sort of things we're going to lose, aren't they? Really that. There it is. Is it that one? Might be. Don't know. Is it moving? No, this one. <laughs> this one looks like another one, actually. Maybe two together. Let's see if it is. Hello. <laughs> Well, 
I think we can safely say that if this is calcium, this is a fragment of one of these structures. Let's um, come off the two toroid sections. Don't know. Uh, I could improve the imaging here, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, and we are going to take this section here and let's see if this is counting. Okay. One spot there. And counting. <laughs> you see a pattern. <laughs> One there. And we'll look on the outside. I think this will be big. So, the first one was by weight 22, sorry, this one <laughs> was 16.88, atomic concentration 8.5, so basically 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 90, 94 or something, 95, whatever. The majority is oxygen, carbon, and calcium. And this spot is 52, 60, 70, 73, and then calcium, 80. So basically, it's almost all carbon, oxygen, and calcium. So this, I would conclude, is part of a blown up torus. And what have we got on the outside area? Well, we have no calcium whatsoever over here. Uh, and we have copper and zinc from the original material, oxygen, carbon. Oh, yeah. Very clear. It's almost like we can predict what we're doing now. Back to our imaging. And we'll zoom out and we'll go and find that other fragment which we observed before. The happy smiley face. Which is a little bit down from that so I'm going to just sort of next to this blob is this one here. And we'll zoom into that and we'll change the contrast. Boom. This is rotated now. And I'll do a bit of focus on this. See some structural changes. So this might just be one torus of, of some sub torus level. The scale on this is that is five microns, four point something, and the subsection here is two microns. Okay. That's it. area and we'll look at this and if it is what I think it is it's going to have calcium rich no yes no it's got some calcium so this is a okay it's got a whole range of what elements in there this blob nitrogen silicon 
Chlamydia, calcium, oxygen, carbon. Hello, my friend. And the outside area is as expected, much too zinc. Yeah, but there's sodium there, it looks to be sodium. No. None of the material for the food. Some of the material, yeah, it's like all of these on this. Not a lot on that. So we're going to look at the broken area up here. This one really fell apart. This is uh, not very well bound to the surface. Uh, this might jump and move around, but uh, let's see how we go. Well, I expect this to be calcium or silicon. Again. Yeah. So I think we can conclude now that within the taurine you get all of the elements up to iron being synthesized and within the spheres you get the iron synthesized. Here we go, we've got potassium, sodium, calcium, silicon, aluminium, carbon and oxygen. Isn't this a wonderful thing? Another one just to confirm. From here. In the core. And then on the outside area. Well, that's interesting on that second one. We have some iron building. So here, in this area, we've got a bit of iron. Calcium, calcium, aluminium, silicon, carbon, oxygen. That first spot over there didn't have a notice on that iron. 
what we've got here. In the central area, we have all the usual suspects. Yeah. I think I'm below here and we've got this fragments or what looks like one of these structures that's blown up. Yeah, zinc, copper, for some reason it's insane. Oxygen, of course. So back to the SEM that we will come out. We will look at this section that's blown up. to see the geometry of the matter. Yeah. I actually want to get a good image of this. In fact, it looks like we've got an iron ball one here. <laughs> so I'm going to change this to 10 so that we get a better image here. So the theory goes. see the segments of this thing and then there's a ball there skimmed around it. But how are the scales here? This is 1.4 microns and 1.12 microns and this ball, which I suspect is iron, <laughs> a good, uh, it is 6.8, 683 nanometers. I'm going to take a image of that. Switching toward the BSD here, so you can see the different elements really picks out the broken up structure here and the subsections there that let just the contrast here. Yeah. Yeah, this is in a different area. Yeah. Not so clear. I wish I found that. 
you know, they literally do put the chair to break up and uh, uh, hopefully it's stuck there. And then there's our original one down here, which we can go and have a look at in more detail. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this. And I think we'll find a few minutes. Oh, hold on, hold on, I've got it on. Not um, what I need. What's it would be? The Tauruses, the segments are made of calcium carbon and oxygen. Mm -hmm. And if you take carbon and calcium and you fuse them, you make fire. Right. No. So we're going to add on this thing. So when the, the ball is more intense, mm -hmm. it makes iron. The bits that blow off are these rings, mm -hmm. and their segments are most calcium, carbon, and oxygen. Whereas the ball is uh, iron, oxygen, and carbon. Mm -hmm. And ca calcium is one of the most observed synthesized elements in there, and so is iron. Mm -hmm. But the most above all is carbon and oxygen. Okay. It's incredible, incredible. Uh, so here you can see, as we go along this line here, this here, I guess, is an iron ball, mm -hmm. a little iron ball. Yep. And then this is one a big structure that blew up, part of a much bigger structure. Um, and if you come down here, you see the calcium on these segments of the blown up structure here, and coming across these three segments. This, this would go into a torus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then as we come along, this is just the substrate here, because it was brass. Yeah. Some of the zinc gets and the copper gets made into a vapor, and the zinc has the lowest boiling point, so it's the last to go down. So this is this is our substrate of zinc oxide. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, these had to have broken up after the zinc oxide laid down. Okay. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So these were surviving yeah. longer because okay. otherwise they would be covered in zinc oxide. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible to think about. These things moving like like Bogdanovich saw, they were lasting for two days. Yeah. I don't know how long these were alive before they then died yeah. and blew up yeah. and did, did these things. It's just uh -huh. and and so if I show you here, this structure here, um, the map there is your oxygen, and there is your carbon, a uh, calcium level. And it's just in that structure, look, <laughs> in the ring. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You're seeing how nature is synthesizing the elements that you're made of. This is how it did it. Mm -hmm. It's just mind-boggling. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay, so I need to find this other area and we'll map it whilst I'm away. Yeah. Um, it's from the previous session because there's uh, three sections I want to look at. Okay, so I'll save all of this. Over here we have this ball and it is iron. 
Then we come along here, and we have mostly zinc because it's in the boundary area. We come along here, and this is carbon in the gap between these sections of the exploded torus. And then we come over here, and the actual torus segments are effectively calcium, carbon, and oxygen. And also, we see that they're, uh, they're zero iron, effectively. And then we come on to the zinc oxide over here. Basically, still it all, doesn't it? So my name is Paul Grinier and I'm a volunteer with Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project and that was a look at some structures of these toroids on one area of the Vega Valley Eastern Plateau which revealed to us uh, for the first time that the toroids are actually predominantly calcium, carbon and oxygen and you also have some uh, uh, relationship with the spheres and that the spheres are predominantly iron and there we have it. So thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.